Hi, my name is Logan Hubler, and this is the interactive advanced concept presentation number eight, kinetic sand. So for this experiment, the materials I used were sand, I used about a cup of sand, some cornstarch, I used about a tablespoon, a few drops of dish soap, and then some water. And this is my final product. As you can see, it's a little runnier than it's supposed to be, but I think that is because I added maybe too much water of the dish soap, the dish soap and water uh, mixture that's making it too watery, but that's my final product. So for the procedure, first I poured about one cup of the sand into this large mixing bowl, and then I added one tablespoon of cornstarch into the same mixing bowl. I then mixed the cornstarch and sand until it was all combined and then on the side I had a small bowl of water and I added a few drops of the dish soap to the water. I stirred the water and dish soap mixture and I slowly poured the water and dish soap mixture into this large mixing bowl. Now as I said I may have poured too much water into the sand and cornstarch mixture which is why it's more watery than it's supposed to be but nonetheless that is the procedure. And when you're doing this, it is important to remember to add in the water slowly so you don't get the results that I got. But you can also do this experiment with the slime method, but for our purposes in this course, we use the cornstarch and dish, dish soap method. So this kinetic sand experiment demonstrates the topic of polymers. A polymer is a substance that has a molecular structure consisting entirely of a large number of similar units bonded together. Polymers are found basically everywhere on the planet, and they have an extremely large amount of applications in the world. That's the cool thing about polymers. Many people, I feel like, don't really know that, but it is pretty cool when you realize that they have so many applications in the world. Now for a more detailed explanation of kinetic sand and why the polymerization occurs. So kinetic sand is actually regular sand, but instead of being coated in water, like common wet sand that you find at the beach, it is coated in dish soap. Because the coating is dish soap and not water, the sand will never dry out, which is one of the best features of kinetic sand. So although mine did not work out, as I said, it's a little watery than it's supposed to be, a little runnier, it will never dry out because it's not coated in water, rather it's coated in the like dish soap, which has the oily, like sticky substance texture. Kinetic sand is an example of a dilatant non or non-Newtonian fluid that increases its viscosity under stress. You can mold the kinetic sand into shapes, but after a few minutes to hours, it will flow into a lump. So if this were to work, I would be able to mold it into any shape I wanted, but after a while, a couple minutes or hours, it would flow back into the lump that you see here because of its viscosity and the stress it undergoes. As I previously stated, kinetic sand is regular sand that's been coated with silicone oil. Silicones are polymers, meaning they're molecules made up of long chains of repeated units. Silicone oils have unique properties in that they can be liquids that flow freely or semi-solids that flow slowly in the absence of pressure, but act like rubbery, so rubbery solids under stress. This characteristic is called viscoelasticity. A substance's degree of viscoelasticity depends on the length of the polymer chains in the silicone oil. With kinetic sand, the polymer chains within the silicone oil make the sand particles stick together so you can form them into a ball. That explains kind of why you can play with the kinetic sand because the kinetic sand only sticks to itself. It doesn't stick to other substances. So you can put on the table, make shapes with it. It won't stick to the table. It'll just stick within itself. However, the ball will slowly flatten over time. The silicone oil coated sand particles stick only to each other. As I said, they only stick to each other, not to other surfaces, which is why kinetic sand doesn't seem sticky or, and it is easy to clean up. As I just got over saying, that's why you can play with your kinetic sand on the table. It won't stick to the table, as I said. It'll just stick to itself. So just a recap of this experiment. 
I use the sand, dish soap, water, and cornstarch to make my kinetic sand. As I said, my kinetic sand was a little too runny, but I may have added too much water at once or not mixed enough in between, but experimental errors happen. And that is why the polymerization of kinetic sand occurs. That is all. Thank you for watching.